So life just got a little bit crankier. Um, but there is lots to do, isn't there? Yes. <laughs> There's lots to do. Um, so, from yesterday, the Israeli government said that we are not allowed to um, leave like our local communities. Basically, it's for Pesach. It is Passover um, from tonight. And so I guess they were worried that people would, um, uh, you know, go and see their families and stuff like that. And so they've just made a rule that you can't leave the town that you live in. Um, um, they've also said that from three o'clock today, um, we can't go shopping for food for like a day or two or something. Um, so, uh, also it's Pesach. So um, I'm going shopping. I've got my list. I've written it in Hebrew and English to try and practice. Um, although I can't remember the word for mushrooms. <sighs> anyway, I am doing that. So I am off shopping. So I'll see you later, you only doggy. Um, oh, where's my keys? So I'm off to the shops. Um, they have also um, said that from Sunday. Um, we aren't allowed to leave the house without a mask on. Um, I've basically been on my own for weeks, basically. And so I don't, so I'm not gonna do one today, but from then on I will. Um, but also I've only got, I think I've got a mask or maybe two, and I don't want them to get like ruined. So I'm just gonna wait until I have to do it and then I'm gonna do it. Um, but yeah, uh, I think the quarantine is, um, for me personally, um, it, it's now really sort of setting because before, basically, I um, I was uh, Nutty was staying here, and then so I wasn't on my own, and my friend Sheldon was around the corner, so um, so I was seeing him because we could like walk the dog, and we're like less than 100 metres from each other, so we could see each other. But about last, a week or so ago, he went to his parents' house um, because they said they were going to close all of the borders and stuff um, uh, for Pesach. So he went about a week ago, and of course now, now he's gone home to be with his family over Pesach. Um, so that's it. Um, so, and in terms of what I'm going to do for my first, um, for my first Passover in Israel, um, fuck all is the answer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm thinking that maybe Pesach is just cancelled this year. Um, and that's fine. I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I'm going to be here next year. That can be my first proper one. Someone said maybe they'll do a Pesach Sheni, which is like a second one, like a month later. I'm not going to do that either. I just... Like, the situation is what the situation is at the moment. And so... You just have to deal with it, and that's fine. I mean, it's... I've heard the story before. Um, in case you don't know, um, Pesach is um, when we celebrate when the children of Israel... Oh, blimey, sorry. Oh, they've... Oh, there's loads and loads of roadways. Anyway, Pesach is when we celebrate when the children of Israel uh, were freed from slavery in Egypt. You may have heard the story. You know, the one with Moses. That one. So, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's probably, in my opinion, it's the most important uh, festival. Um, and I really like it. But, um, I mean, I was originally going to go home. Um, obviously, you can't do that. And, you know, people are doing their thing. And that's fine. I think everyone's a bit down about it. But I just feel like, you know... It happens every year. And, you know, maybe next year, it just means that we'll all appreciate it even more than we did before, you know? So I will miss my family, um, and I'll miss Nutty, and I'll miss Sheldon, and Jan, and Benny, and all of my other friends, who it would have been nice to see. But 
it's fine. Um, so I'm going to go and buy some matzos, matzot. But for the Ashkenazis out there, the matzos. And um, yeah, try to enjoy what you can enjoy. I would say, um, if you can zoom, then zoom your say tonight. Um, if you don't, then just try and. Stay safe, stay happy, and everybody. Have a happy Passover.